Hey everybody, I'm Jason Kemmer. Uh, I'm one of the consulting sales engineers here at Forcepoint. And today we're gonna take a look at uh, data loss prevention incident management. So over here on the UI, we have the console that you're gonna wake up to when you're doing your incident triage. Um, but let's take a look at the last couple of days of reporting. Uh, another uh, key differentiator here for us at Forcepoint is that we consolidate all of our various rules into single incidents. Um, so an example of that, what that might look like is various different identifications for PCI. Um, we have over 1,500 different classifiers, so we uh, tend to hit or identify a lot of sensitive data going outbound, but we really need to make it easier for our analysts in order to remediate them efficiently, right? So whether we have the full file forensics, the various properties of what channel was uh, sent over, the login user, as well as the historical information, um, over here we have various workflows that we can use to change or edit some of the policies. And some of those things might be assigning it to your respective team members, changing the status and severity, open, close, and progress, the severity, even tagging and commenting an incident saying, hey, this ticket's mine, I'm going to take care of it. But one big feature that we really like to hit on is that one-click remediation. So whether you're coming at things from a network email or an endpoint perspective, we can simply click the incident and all the information from that violation will be here and we can either release it from the quarantine zone or we can run an endpoint based remediation script such as either quarantining and tombstoning the file, seizing the file or even putting the file back. Um, and then last but not least, you know, after the remediation has been done, who do we need to escalate it to? We can either escalate it to the user's manager, SOC manager, or even email employee relations in case we need to give them a, a little training lesson. And then you can obviously uh, change and manipulate this report however you see fit, export it to a SIM, SOAR, anything of that nature. If you need to see more information on Forcepoint's incident management for DLP, con contact us at forcepoint.com uh, for a one-on-one -on -one live demonstration. Thanks.